Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to represent a hyperbola as a set of parametric equations and as a vector valued function. Let's start off with a simple example. Say we have uh, x squared over 25 minus y squared over 16 equal to 1. This will be our first example. So there is a really nice um, identity we can use for this involving hyperbolic functions. So recall that the hyperbolic cosine squared of t minus the hyperbolic sine squared of t is equal to 1. So in this problem, we somehow want to use this identity um, to rewrite this equation. So if we were to replace x with 5 cosinh t, Let's look at what would happen. We would have this over 25. Likewise, if we were to replace y with 4 cinch t, we would have this, and it would be over 16. And then you would square the 5, so you would get 25 cosinch squared t over 25. You see why I picked the 5 now, right? So when you square it, it goes away. It's beautiful. Minus. And then when you square the 4, you get 16 cinch squared t. And this is over 16. And likewise, this goes away here. So you get cosinh squared minus cinch squared, so you get 1. So basically, these parametric equations solve, solve this equation. So x is equal to 5 cosinh t. And y is equal to 4 cinch t. So these would be the parametric uh, equations for this hyperbola. So these are the parametric equations. So to find a vector valued function, we would just use the formula for vector valued functions. So r of t, it's x of t times the standard unit vector i hat plus y of t times the standard unit vector j hat. So normally in Calc 2 you do this, right? And then in Calc 3, you find the vector valued function. So R of t. So here x was 5 cosinh t. I'll put it in parentheses. So 5 cosinh t, i hat. And then y was 4 cinch t. So plus 4 cinch t, j hat. Kind of small, but that would be the vector valued function. Let's do one more. Let's do a harder one, just so you, so you see how this works. So b. Say we had um, x minus 1 squared over 4 minus uh, y plus 7 squared over 9 equal to 1. So this time, uh, the center of the hyperbola is a bit different. It's, it's 1, negative 7. But we should not let that um, derail us, right? So what we'll do is, again, we want to make this first piece just a cosinh squared. So we'll take this x minus 1 and we'll set that to 2 cosinh t. So when we square this, we get 4 cosinh squared, so the 4s cancel. Likewise, we'll take this piece here, and again, we'll use a 3 now, right? Because when you square 3, you get 9. So let's do that. So we'll take 2 cosinh t, and we'll set that equal to x minus 1. And then here we'll take 3 cinch t, and we'll set that equal to y plus 7. This is a beautiful technique. You could come up with a formula for this, but uh, just a matter of opinion, I think it's much more beautiful to do, to do it this way. Add 1 to both sides. Here you get x equals 1 plus 2 cosinh t. And then subtract 7 over here, so you get y equals negative 7 plus 3 cinch t. And these would be our parametric equations for our hyperbola. So now we can write down our vector valued function. So r, with our super arrow of t, it's always x of t times i hat. So we know our x, so that's 1 plus 2 cosinh t i hat. And then y times j hat, so that would be negative 7 plus 3 cinch t, and that would be k hat uh, there, and there it is. This would be the vector valued function, and these would be the parametric equations. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world. That's it.